Virgo, this is your forecast for the month of June 2017. This is a general reading for Virgo Sun, Virgo Rising, or Virgo Moon. If you have a different rising or moon sign, you might find watching those videos helpful or more informative for you. You can watch your reading in three different ways. The full extended monthly, or for just the energy influence, watch the brief. Or if you prefer, watch the weekly for the upcoming week. Weeklies also make it easy for you to review information you may have forgotten in the full reading. Please remember that these are general readings, and so they may not apply to everyone. If you would like a reading that is specific to you, please visit my website at thealchemistastrologer.com and I invite you to follow me on Facebook, Google+, and Instagram. Please also check out my pay-per-view channel, vimeo.com slash on-demand slash finding love for monthly love readings. Now, the month ends on this moon card, which I don't particularly like for you. Uh, now, this could be a connection to a Pisces person or something connected to family or your mother. So on opposite ends of this reading, we, we have things that connect to family, our parental relationship, perhaps our parental responsibilities. Uh, so there's something that connects to the past, possibly travel, and that could have been the last minute notice about an opportunity to spend some time in the sun or take a vacation. Uh, but there's change taking place. You may be experiencing some, something emotional, something psychological, something intuitive. Uh, you're definitely in touch with your intuitions and hopefully you're not allowing your emotions to override any kind of practicality. This is a week where there could be some intensity, you, you know, there's some, something related to past conditioning or something instinctual. In the negative, though, this is a week where maybe you want to escape and maybe you feel trapped. Maybe you need to get out in, into the, maybe you need to take care of your health and, and there's something, uh, your emotional health is important or perhaps even the physical health. Uh, or maybe you want to take a vacation and yet you're trapped. You can't do what you want to do. But there could be issues connected to escapism, confusion, deception, betrayal, maybe somebody working behind the scenes negatively, uh, even possibly confronting some lies. So this is a week where in the negative, you probably will feel a sense of fear or uncertainty or insecurity. Maybe you're suspicious or irritable and really don't quite know why. Now, it may have something to do with fear feeling trapped in a situation or you got some last minute news or some new awareness about something. You may also be deceiving yourself about a situation and not seeing things clearly because they appear to be different on the surface. Whatever it is, uh, maybe you're worrying about your health or you know, your emotional state is connected to your sense of security, your finances in some way. Uh, but whatever it is, something is going to come to light. Some secret, any deception, anything hidden, anything you're hiding, anything someone else is hiding, that's going to come up for review this week. And you're going to be seeing things more closely because you're going to be looking carefully at your situation. Now, for some of you, it's possible that you may hear a couple of uh, pieces of bad news and maybe that has to do with that Eight of Swords. Uh, or again, you're dealing with some physical issues connected to your stress and anxiety. Uh, and it could be that you're just trying too hard. Now, maybe you burned yourself out trying to, again, impress someone, trying to save something, push something, pushing too hard because you needed to be needed. And ultimately, you know, you, your, your emotions are overwhelming you and any, any small thing, you take offense to it. 
This may be indicating that you actually need to relax. You need to take the initiative. Even if you've been feeling trapped, you've been going in circles, you need to take that vacation and do something that you enjoy so that you can rejuvenate yourself. So that if anything you've been facing, you can have a fresh frame of mind and come up with a great solution for it rather than taking your frustration out on other people. So this is not the week to hold your success back by being in denial about what your true situation is, whether that's your work, your health, or your relationships. This is a week to get past those old patterns where you've been sabotaging yourself uh, because you have these emotional situations rooted in fear or anger and you're not opening up to new opportunities. So being excessively occupied with thinking about your finances or your work or your emotional state is actually going to work against you. The path may not be clear for you right now. There could be some uncertainty, some vagueness, some cloudy thinking. And perhaps you're out of sync emotionally with other people. But this is a week for you to be vigilant and not avoid any issues, for you to focus, for you to try to get motivated. Uh, and maybe if you're working on something creative, for you to follow through on that plan. Otherwise, this is going to be a week where you're wandering in the wilderness. You're in the dark because there's some aimlessness and there's a need for you to get reoriented about where you're headed in order to meet that success.